interim manager's done a big job. Are you worried for your job? I'm a little bit, yeah. I'm a little bit annoyed, actually. <laughs> Welcome back. It is Sunday the 12th of February. It's Hawks versus South Coast. It's top beat bottom in the league. Promises to have plenty of goals. Weather's not perfect. It's threatened to rain all day. Although as of yet, we've not seen a drop. Up the bloody Hawks. Big day for us. Not a scary day, but one where we can't get complacent. Up the Hawks, up the Hawks, and up the bloody Hawks. <laughs> Standard, yeah. 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 Tell me about it. Huh? Not bad. You kiss her. Huh? Shut up. Oh, God. Ah, he did kiss her. He did kiss her. Business. Yeah. Yeah. He was going to get it on. What did he say on it? It was nice touch. Bit of a speed or so really nice. That's hard to Oh, I wish you got built for speed. Built for touch. I really like that. Joel wants to go up front today. Does he actually? Did you say you want to go up front today, Joel? Yeah. All oh, right, good. Yeah, that was. What are you saying about your debut up front? Is this your debut up front? Yeah, up top. Yeah. Grant Holt. What I'm going for? Maybe Matt Reed. Go on then. Show us what we got. One touch. Bang that. I'm a one season wonder, but I didn't even make it to a whole season of a half a season. Harry Redknapp's back after a week off. Joe, Do Joe Jordan successfully guided the Hawks to a 5 0 win against our biggest rivals. <laughs> Interim manager's done a big job. Are you worried for your job? I'm a little bit, yeah. I'm a little bit annoyed, actually, to be quite honest. <laughs> you um, chose not to come. The man behind the camera trying to steal my job, but that's fine. Class is permanent. We'll show that with another three points today. The heaviest step you'll ever see. Yeah. He's going to be like, God, traffic was a nightmare from the way I came. What fucking time do you call this? <laughs> dear, dear, dear. <laughs> 10 o'clock kickoff. Joking, <laughs> it was all over the chat. Yeah, There's several messages about are you sure it's there? Oh, it's bloody good until he gets the ball. Oh, he has picked someone out, has he? Who, do you know who that famous Italian ref is? The bald one that everyone's terrified of. I don't think anyone knows his name. Looks like you. I'll oh, get a picture up on the screen. You and the spinach. Look straight down the camera for me. Looks like me. Yeah, okay. All right. As a bloke with a lot of goalkeeping experience, where does this goalie rank in your in your top ten? What, a professional or semi-professional? Both. Top one. First thing I wanted to say, obviously I wasn't there last week, but tremendous result, five 0 um, in the cup. Hopefully we can transfer that over to the league. In a yeah. Oh, no, no complacency, and let's make sure we're knocking the ball around, doing the same amount of running. First ten minutes, let's run them off the pitch, and they'll stop chasing us. And welcome back to another week of Do or Die Horn Hawks. It was absolutely hammering down this week and we're struggling to get 11 players to come, uh, let alone anyone coming to watch. So in goal, we go with Sam Hennan, as always, you'd expect to see. Back four welcomes Bakes home to his centre-back position. Harry Barrett next to him, Hamish Simmons in left back and George Leahy for a change in right back. Uh, in the middle of the park, we've got Lewis Dawkins and Ben Whittam. Uh, on the right side, we've got Charlie Barrett and on the left side, Tom Bowden returns for the first time in a while. Jack Ormson up front and Mark Richards, after a good campaign in centre-back, managing to convince everyone to put him up there for a change. We also managed to convince a few substitutions to turn up, uh, so they actually ended up both running the lines, but we're an unbiased team, so there was no cheating. Uh, we've got Brad Thomas, Joel Parker and Luke Dawkins on the bench, meaning that we've got a few options to bring on to change the game, and the man making those decisions will be Kieran Pragnall, back after a week off, and unsurprisingly, the Hawks recorded a 5-0 win without him. Uh, our goalkeeper Sam Hennan is having to put on a Galatasaray kit 
Uh, looks like it's circa 2009. Uh, unfortunately, he had a bit of a kick clash with their team because they're wearing blue. But off we go for kickoff. It's Hawks versus South Coast. It's top of the bottom of the league. Mark Richards slipping straight away like the donkey he is. He's getting run out up front today and uh, their number eight looks in control of the ball. Uh, promises to be a game full of goals. Lewis Dawkins dispossessed South Coast early. Slips it through to Mark Richards. Here's his chance. First minute of the game. He squared it for some reason and uh, put it just behind Jacko. Charlie crosses the ball. It comes back out to him. Gets his foot on the ball. He just needs to put a ball across here. So he does and uh, not really amounting to anything. Ben Whitten with a block. Lands at Jack Ormy's feet. Got a score. Manages to set up Mark by accident. And uh, I think he's going to be a little bit unhappy that he's had a goal taken from him there. But Mark gets a goal on his start up front. South Coast kick off straight away again and uh, Hawks are hunting for some goals to catch up on goal difference. It's a long ball over the top and uh, oh, Sam seems to have gone over. Uh, it's threatening to go towards the goal but just goes wide. That would have been one we'd love to see go in uh, if not just for the content. But uh, Sam pretending that the ground's got a hole in it or something but that is not good. Hawks come forward again. Tom Bowden with some intricate footwork picks out Jack Ormy. Slip through now. Mark Richards in on goal. Just got to finish that. And he really is a centre-back. All this talk about him being a striker. And uh, it's just all barking. Hawks again coming forward. It is Mark Richards again. He's, he is in amongst it, if nothing else. Picks out Jack Ormy, who manages to, in turn, pick out Tom Bowden out wide. Manages to take a shot. Decent save by the goalie. And um, it was a little bit soft, but it was a decent effort. Ball in by Jack Ormy. Landed on Charlie Barrett's head. It's a decent connection with the ball, but when it's that far out, you've got to hit it like a bullet, and the ball didn't have quite enough pace on it. Sam throws it out to Charlie, who's uh, who's making himself available. He sees Harry driving down the wing. Manages to pick out Harry Barrett there. He's got a chance to drive. There's lots of space in front of him, and he does so. Beats his man, gets the ball in the box. Jack Ormy's just got to finish that, and again, it's a bit of a toe poke. Nothing much there. Yeah, Lewis picks out... Mark again got an opportunity, he squares that to Jack, there's the goal, and he won't want to see that one back. Another nightmare, it's just not going well for the Hawks so far. Jack will be picking up the ball again, manages to slip the ball towards Mark. Uh, their number four is not doubt that well at all. Mark takes a strike and uh, it's just wide of the keeper's left side of the goal. Uh, decent effort. Bakes picks out Charlie Barrett with a lovely touch and... Uh, Decent ball over the top of Jack, who's miles on the side. Again, this looks like it has to be a goal, and he's overrun it. Um, he needs some new boots on or something. It's just not quite happening for him. And here he comes to change the boots, obviously. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, maybe a spoiler, maybe not. Do they help him? You'll have to wait and see. Uh, Charlie clears that, but it looks like the rest pulled up for a handball just in the build-up there. Uh, it did hit his hand, but it was accidental and it's by his side, so it seems a bit soft. But uh, chance to South Coast on the edge of the box. Their player steps up, takes a free kick. Sam's been confused one way or another by that and palmed it straight into the, the path of their number eight. It's, it's not great from the Hawks, and we're kind of getting what we deserve here. Uh, being a bit complacent. Jack on me the ball out wide. Darts past his man, knocks it into the box. Mark finishes that, and we're immediately back in front. Um... Maybe that was the kick in the arse we needed, but uh, I'm not convinced. Yeah. Charlie Barrett with the ball out wide. Uh, takes it inside, makes himself a yard. Again, turns back outside. Sees Mark on the shoulder of the defender, and he's, he's not managed to deal with that at all. Decent ball into the box here, and it could be another goal. He's got plenty of time. Picks out Jacko. Keeper saved that. Jacko's got to finish that now. Keeper saved that. Uh... This is not just a, a compilation of Jack's misses today. Charlie Barrett picks up the ball on the edge of the box. Again, skips past his man. Plenty of time to the man out wide. Just got to finish this now. And again, we don't finish it. Um, it's not great stuff. Mark's offside and uh, this isn't a brilliant watch. Tom gets around his man and picks out Harry Barrett, who knocks it past the defender, gets caught on the way through for his troubles, and uh, that's a definite penalty. There's no doubt about that. It was a bit of a push, and there was a bit of connection. It was kind of a, a sandwich between two players. Lots of players want this penalty, but Charlie Barrett's the one to step up. Slots it past the keeper. I'm not sure that was as far in the corner as it could have been, but uh, Keith's not got near it. It's, uh, it's a goal from the penalty spot, and that's all you can really do.
Charlie Barrett with an unconventional flick round the corner. It's a lovely ball. Jacko again, just skying that, to be honest. It's, uh, it's, it's not the Jack Ormy we saw last week. Charlie Barrett with a long free kick into the box, and that's gone straight over. And on that note, the ref's blown up for half-time. Dodgy first half from the Hawks, 3-1 up. We're so disrespectful to our team. Like, we, we beat South City 5 nil. We're just we're out for a, a laugh. And like, I know everyone wants to tell someone else how to do it. Everyone's got ideas. All of you are just not doing your job. You know, I, I, I don't want to kick off and ruin anyone's day, but like, like, everyone can do their job about 10 and I, you know, I, I, I could pick out everyone, but like even even Santa Mir, like not in a funny way. Last week we absolutely bossed it. This week we just don't look interested. We, we can win five one, and everyone could be like, you know, that was all right. Or you can, we need the goal difference. Like, South so, so City beat these eighteen four for a reason. They take it seriously. You know, we're not. We're just pissing it. But the thing is, we're playing into the wind. But it's very difficult conditions. The pitch is shit. I understand it, but. We need to we need to get it on the deck. Everyone's pa panicking when they get it into their feet. They're just they're not even getting their heads up. They're just fucking hoofing it. But it's, 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 it's keep it on the deck. It's chipping leg, leg as well. Like it's it's, it's just yeah. offering yourself up as well. Like, yeah. I've, so often, I'd like so one of the from the back, we get the ball, and I just see everyone just running away from them. I've not at what, one point in the game seen someone drop in and just ask for the ball and turn out and knock it across the pitch. It's knock in. If we do get it, we turn around and go straight over the top. Second half is well underway. Um, we were kind of in a battle with the rain this half because it really started hammering down quite early on. And uh, we don't really have a contingency plan. Jack slipped through Mark again. Uh, camera's getting a bit blurred there. Jack follows up an effort and that's not miles away. It's a little bit better by him. Uh, maybe those new boots are coming good. As you can see, now the brolly's in the shop because it's so rainy. Mark with a chance in the box. Just slots that past the goal. Not good stuff. Tom Bowden now with a chance to slip the ball through and their goalie's confident leaving that, strangely enough, and uh, I mean it works, what can you say? Harry Barrett slots it out wide to Charlie Barrett, he's found himself in a decent spot, whips the ball in, oh, it's just past Luke Dawkins' head and that's probably the best move we put together all game and it, it, it was three passes, so that really sums it up. Uh, ben Whitham on the ball in the middle of midfield, manages to pick out Jack Ormy, who's got a lot of space here, just needs to finish it and... Good block by the defender, and it comes off Jack Ormy for a goal kick. Hawks again with an opportunity. Charlie Barrett charging around the edge of the box. Decent feet to get himself in that position, and it's put well wide. Um, conditions really aren't helping at this point. Uh, again, an opportunity to go through. Hamish has literally hit that with his standing foot. Uh, sums the game up. Jack Ormy goes through again. Slots into Charlie Barrett. Hit straight with the defender. Not causing him any problems. Again, a throw into Jack Ormy. Turns his man. It's all one-way traffic. Surely finishes this. Player just in front of the line to clear it out. And, um, I mean, it is one-way traffic, but the ball is not going in the net. Decent ball into the box. Mark Richards overhead kick. And, again, it's going to go wide. Uh, the finishing from us today is a solid 1 out of 10. Not good stuff. Long throw in by Mark. Kicked out of play. And the ref's going to call it a day there and put us all out of our misery. Uh, it was a bloody nightmare. I'll see if I can cut to a clip of the uh, the rain kind of blowing us all over by the camera. You probably just about make out that it's absolutely hammering it down. Now, I've got to the end of the game and I thought, brilliant, I'm going to do a quick wrap up in my car because everyone wanted to get home. No one wanted to do a team talk. As you can see, it is raining heavy and I hadn't realised that there's loads of water in my phone. So basically everything I was picking up was just going... So rather than re-record this now on a Wednesday night, I thought I'd just let you know we didn't play well. The weather was awful. It was a bad day for the Hawks, but we took three points. So ultimately what I'll be saying at this point is probably up the Hawks, up the Hawks and up the bloody Hawks. Did you kiss her? Huh? Shut up. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, he did kiss her. He did kiss her. <laughs>